G'day, my name's David Troy, and this is the David Troy Salon. I wanted to show you what it was like, or the process I go through every time I make a video, or the steps I take anyway. So if you're thinking about getting into YouTube, or you think about starting your own channel, this is just the steps I take, and this is what I've learned over the last year. Um, I know I've got a long way to go, so uh, anyways, let's just jump into it. So the first thing you need to do is come up with an idea. An idea that's good enough that someone's going to actually search on YouTube. So for me, being a hairdresser, you know, obviously hair tutorial would be the first thing I write down. And then what I typically do is go straight to YouTube and I put in hair tutorial in the search bar just to see what comes up okay so we've got mint green hair we've got bridal hair curly hair short hair which looks like they've got plenty of views and all of them are not going to work for me so obviously i'll take those all off the list what else have we got we've got easy hair we've got long hair textured curl updos none of these are going to work all been done before so basically I've got to look for inspiration somewhere else. I've got this magazine in the salon that comes in every month. It's an interior design magazine. I love it. It, it. So I go out and I grab that. So as I grab the magazine, I really like the front cover. There's a lady on the front with a loose long wave. And as I'm flipping through it, I see that look several times throughout the magazine. So now I'm starting to think maybe a loose long curl. You know, maybe um, something with a long wave. So I go back to the computer, I type in long wave. Sure enough, a million videos come up, but what comes up is long wave with flat iron. Now, that's sort of interesting, because not a lot of people do that. I think that's a good idea. So now that I've got an idea, I go through and I check out some of the top videos or in the top search engine and wondering why they're in the top search engine. A lot of these people aren't even hairdressers and, you know, it's not done very well. But, you know, they're popular on YouTube, so they're getting a lot of hits and a lot of views. So the next step would be to see if I have a mannequin that I can use for this purpose. A lot of the mannequins I've been cutting off lately, so let's see if I've got a long mannequin. Looks like I've got one up here that's going to work because I don't have a live model coming in today. So it's, I'm, I think I'm going to use this one. This one seems to work. So now not only do I have to shoot it before my client comes in, I also have to edit it. So I've got to get it set up in the salon so I can go ahead and get it done. So not only do I have to get this done before my client comes in, I can't leave the stuff set up because I run a salon. This is an active working salon every day. I see a lot of clients, but I think this is going to work today. So that's a little bit about how I come up with my ideas, basically. Um, if this is the first time you've come across one of my videos and you like my content, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you know when I up. I want to say I've shot this last little bit on my phone. So just to try it out, just I haven't used my iPhone a lot for vlogging or for I'm going to change up the content a little bit maybe and just share with you guys a little bit more about me or about the salon.